Hi, Lisa. I know it's been an incredibly busy year already of rolling out new products, but you and I are here today in the AMD Austin Engineering Lab. Do you have any additional product updates for us? You know, JT, it's been a great year for AMD and our products. Uh, we started with Ryzen 7, then Ryzen 5, then the Radeon RX 500 series, then the Epic launch and the Radeon Vega Frontier edition. But yes, there's more that we want to talk about today. And today I'd like to really talk about Ryzen 3 and Ryzen Threadripper, which complete the Ryzen family. Okay, great. Let's start with Ryzen 3. Tell us a little bit more about that product. Yeah, so Ryzen 3 is really meant to get as many users as possible into the Ryzen family with our new Zen cores. And we have two members of the Ryzen 3 family. We have Ryzen 3 1200, which is four cores, four threads, 3.1 gigahertz base, 3.4 gigahertz boost. And then we have the Ryzen 3 1300X, which is also four cores and four threads, but it has a 3.5 gigahertz base and a 3.7 gigahertz boost. We're really excited about Ryzen 3. You will see both of these parts on shelf on July 27th. Okay, let's, that's Ryzen 3. Let's talk about Ryzen Threadripper. What more can you tell us? You know, we are so excited about Ryzen Threadripper. You know, when we really thought about the Threadripper family of products, it was really, how could we get the highest end desktop processor um, to as many people as possible. The Ryzen Threadripper um, 1920X is our 12 core, 24 thread product. And 1920X will have a 3.5 gigahertz base and a four gigahertz boost. And then the high end 1950X will be 16 cores and 32 threads with a 3.4 gigahertz base and a four gigahertz boost. So just incredible performance for the high end desktop market. Outstanding. And I no, we have Robert Halleck here with us today, so can we take a look next at some of the performance? Well, yes, absolutely. What we want to show today with Robert is the very, very first competitive demos with Ryzen Threadripper. I have something I think very exciting for people who are into 3D rendering. We have Cinebench R15 set up. First on the right, the Core i9-7900X, 10 core and 20 thread, versus the Ryzen Threadripper 1920X, with 12 cores and 24 threads. So we're gonna put 12 core versus 10 core side by side and see what happens. And we're gonna launch them both at the same time here and let the ray tracing work run through very fast on a processor of this caliber. And as it wraps up, users will see that the Threadripper chip is definitely more powerful. Uh, and we turned in a score of over 2400 for Threadripper, the 12 core model, and just over 2100 for the Core i9. That's fantastic, Robert. The 1920X looks great, but let's see what the 1950X will do. I think that's the one people are really excited about, the 16 core highest end model, and we just kicked off that run. And as it winds to a close here, we will see that it should turn in a score of around 3000. And yes, just over 3000. That's fantastic. Thank you, Robert. Of course. How about pricing? Can you tell us about pricing for Ryzen Threadripper? You know, JT, we're extremely excited about Ryzen Threadripper, and we want to make sure that as many users as possible get to experience the performance of Threadripper. So I'm really happy to share today that the Threadripper 1920X, our 12-core device, will actually retail for $799, and our high-end Ryzen Threadripper 1950X, the 16-core device, will retail for $999. Excellent. We had said Ryzen Threadripper would be a summer launch, Lisa. How is availability looking? I'm really happy to say that we are absolutely on track for our Ryzen Threadripper launch. Both of these devices will be on shelf in early August, and you'll hear a lot more about this at SIGGRAPH, about both Ryzen Threadripper as well as our entire Vega family. So again, I want to take a moment and thank all of our fans. It's really been great, and we look forward to hearing a lot more from you.